Hey guys, so um, I went on BoardMaker online and as an SLP or teacher, we have access because they provide us access. And so for our district BoardMaker sign site, um, you can look up Halloween things at the, I believe it's the right hand side, top right magnifying glass. You can search up any topic. I searched up Halloween, found, found a lot of really good Halloween bingos and idioms and things like that and you can rearrange them as needed. And so one of the things that I found was an interactive board that's called the Halloween Story. I'm not 100% sure on who made it, but I can post the link later. Um, basically, I pretended to print it out like a PDF. You can save it as a PDF and um, you can create your own sentences based on the different describing attributes that are on there and make a sentence and then have it be read out loud. However, I just downloaded it, laminated it, and kind of personalized it to kind of have the same kind of use. And so this is kind of what it looks like. My Halloween story, read all, read sentence, left one sentence, hide symbols, show symbols, symbol review, save, new, open, print, and stop. So if you wanted to online open up your smart board in your room, you could make the sentences and then all of this below, um, the witch, the ghost, and the pirate were actually added um, underneath on the same um, slide, but I just cut it up and laminated it so that I could have easy access since I printed it. And so I don't want to lose these pictures. They're easy to lose even though it's pretty big. And um, I made this soft because the trick there is that the woman stays at home and the woman and soft resemble each other and then the roughness is supposed to go to work because the men goes to work so that's how I remember that so anyways learn that at UCF card so anyways these are the different slides that after you print out the PDF you can see and so you have attributes of each one of these items the witch the ghost and the pirate so you can do an inferencing activity and then um, either teach the vocabulary and then have them create their own sentence um, so in this case Blank is funny, is scary, has a pirate hat. So I'm going to have my students guess which one it is without the board. And if they need the board, then I will give them their options and then limit the options if it comes down to it or just actually give it to them. Okay, you're right. The pirate is funny. The pirate is scary. The pirate has a hat, has a big ship, has a sword has an eye patch and so they can go ahead and create their sentences in any order that they want and then um, you can go from there and so you can practice that um, in my case I'm going to have the students sign each sentence I'm going to first teach them the vocabulary and then um, these vocabulary words and then we'll combine and so I would probably just pick nice, mean, scary, boo, fly, white. Keep it simple, um, depending on the student's um, abilities of being able to put in the grammar tenses and add your way. So in this case, it is white. It flies in the air. Hmm, what one can it be? So without the board, if they need the board for options, okay, it is a ghost. The ghost is white. It is nice. It is mean. It flies in the air, says boo, and it's scary. And you can have them use their monster or character voices when they're doing this. And then they can, I just laminated it to not waste laminate and um, flipped it over. And the same thing. Oh, I'm looking for something that's green, that has a pointy hat, that is scary, and flies. 
Honey broom, it laughs and it's mean. Hmm, what can it be? Without options, with options. Oh, it is a witch. The witch is green, it flies on a broom, it has the pointy hat, it laughs, and it is scary. The witch is mean. And you can even go into how these are characters. So when I ask who, I'm looking for a character. And, you know, a lot of these are very common Halloween items and um, objects and nouns and verbs that you can use in your books that you're reading for the month of October for Halloween. So together with all these boards, these three boards from Board Maker, and then this uh, main one, I'm gonna go ahead and use this for a lot of things. And um, can even use it for receptively being able to have them, um, in my case, sign each item to see if they remember. Um, or they can build their own sentences without you. you. You can make the sentences with them and then they can practice reading them to the best of their ability. Um, you can even do a sequencing event. First, um, point two, uh, the witch laughs. Next, she is mean. Then she is scary. Okay, tell me the order. First, next, last and so you can do a lot with that you can also have them um, follow directions point to green then scary then left okay your turn and so um, sequential um, following directions inferencing characters nouns you can even do verbs laughs flies um, and like we said describing and so white would be describing nice um, you can even talk about emotions you know scary is an emotion mean is an emotion who can be scary and mean and so going back to your characters so there's a lot all right so that's the end of that and this is a free product if you have access to board maker online Look for my Halloween story and go from there. Good luck. Happy Halloween.